Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasu Cat channel with AutoCAD 3D Modeling Basic CAD Tutorial How to Create a 3D Helix Ornament Okay, first uh, I will create circle in here with the uh, radius of 5 Okay, and you can copy this uh, circle object Start from uh, this point into here We copy again this uh, two circle, start from this point into here Okay, we create circle, okay and then you can tap M to P to choose uh, mid from two point. Click at this point, center point, and click at the center point. Next, we create circle with radius at the center point. Okay, you can uh, orbit uh, this uh, drawing. Okay, and then I will create a circle with uh, radius uh, 30. Okay. You can move uh, this uh, circle object uh, to the top here, 75. Okay, and I will uh, copy again uh, this uh, circle object uh, to the top, 5 and uh, 150. Okay, we copy this uh, circle object to the bottom here, 5 and enter. Enter again to apply. Next, uh, I will use loop command. You can tap loop, enter, and change mode in here into uh, surface. Okay, I will select uh, the circle. Okay, we select again in here. Two, three, four, and then five. Enter to apply this uh, loop command. Okay, you can change into realistic view to view the object. Okay, this. Uh, 3D uh, surface with helix command and I will change again into 2D wireframe okay next I will create the uh, helix object okay you can type uh, helix enter and then you can click at uh, the center point okay I will give uh, radius for this helix uh, 50 and then for the top 50 enter Next, you can click at uh, this uh, center point. Okay, I will uh, select uh, this uh, helix object, and then you can change turn in here into 1.5. Okay, this helix 1.5. We create a line object. Okay, start from uh, this point into center point in here. Okay. Next, uh, I will use a uh, rotate command to rotate uh, this uh, object, a helix and a line. Okay, start from uh, this point. I will use a uh, reference uh, option. Okay, you can tap R, enter, and then click from this point for base into this point. Next, you can click at the center of uh, the circle. Okay. Okay. I will change again into realistic view and then you can use a sweep command to sweep uh, this line object with uh, this ellipse okay you can tap a uh, sweep enter select uh, this uh, line object enter and then select uh, this uh, helix object okay now you can use intersect uh, command to intersect uh, this uh, two object you can tap uh, intersect in, in here Okay, and then I will click uh, this uh, two object and enter. Now we already create uh, this uh, uh, helix uh, object. Okay, you can delete uh, this object. I will delete in here. Okay, we delete again this uh, circle object. Next, you can use uh, copy command to copy this uh, circle start from uh, this point into this point okay and then uh, I will create a line you can tap uh, line enter start from uh, this point move uh, to the bottom here with uh, distance 350 and enter enter again to apply okay I will create a circle in here okay we create circle Next, I will use a group command to make group uh, the circle with uh, this uh, line object. Enter. You can change into top view 
okay we change the top view and then I will move uh, this object okay you can tap move enter select uh, this object move uh, to the left here of 5 okay and then you can move again this uh, object uh, to the top of 5 okay now you can uh, orbit and next uh, I will move uh, this object uh, to the bottom here with uh, this 10 uh, 25 enter okay I will ungroup you can tap ungroup we ungroup uh, this object and then you can delete uh, this uh, circle object okay we change again into top view and then I will create a circle uh, in here with the radius 2 okay we copy this uh, circle object from this point into here and we copy again this circle from this point to here okay next you can move uh, this uh, object you can tap move and use uh, m2p option okay i will move uh, this uh, sorry i will move uh, this object with the m2p option okay select uh, this uh, center point and in here next uh, i will move into center point after this object okay you can use the m2p option again click at this point and then click again in here. okay now you can move uh, this uh, object Okay, this uh, for circle. Okay, move uh, to the bottom with uh, this 10, 375, and enter. Okay, we move into bottom here. Okay, you can see. And then I will select uh, this uh, line object. Okay, we select uh, this line object. We move uh, from this point. Okay, into this uh, center point. You can use a uh, blend command to connect uh, this uh, line object with uh, this uh, helix object. Okay, you can tap uh, blend, enter, select uh, this line object, and then you can select uh, this uh, helix object. Enter. Okay, we can use a join command to combine these uh, two objects. Okay, and we join again uh, this object with uh, this uh, object. Okay, now we already have uh, two pet. This uh, first pet and uh, the second pet. Next, uh, I will use a loop command to convert uh, this uh, to this cat into 3D models. You can type a loop, enter, and select uh, the circle. Sorry, I will change mode in here into solid. Select uh, the circles with uh, this uh, circle enter and then you can choose a pet option select uh, this pet okay i will press f7 to hide code and change surface trace into 10 to look more smooth okay you can use a copy command to copy this object okay start from uh, center point in here into here okay i will hide uh, this object you can right click uh, isolate and hide objects we select uh, this uh, for object and then I will uh, copy okay from uh, this point okay sorry I will uh, copy this uh, object from uh, this uh, point into this point okay next uh, you can use a loop command to loop uh, this uh, circle Okay, with uh, this uh, circle and then choose path option you can select uh, this helix uh, object okay you can right click uh, isolate and an object isolation okay I will use uh, array command to uh, duplicate uh, these objects into four okay with uh, polar option you can type uh, array enter and select uh, this uh, two object enter you can choose a polar option and type uh, m2p we use uh, made from two point option you can click at this point and then click again in here okay and i will uh, 
change uh, items in here into full and you can close all right. okay now I will uh, copy okay we copy this uh, object okay from uh, the center point into center point in here okay you can delete uh, this object and delete again in here we can create a circle okay with the uh, m2p option you can click at the center point and click again in here okay i will create uh, uh, with uh, radius uh, 18 okay and then you can uh, extrude this uh, circle object uh, to the top uh, 18 i will fillet with the uh, radius uh, 9 uh, at uh, the top uh, edge and we fill again with the uh, radius 5 at the bottom here okay and next uh, I will uh, give a material and then we can render this object you can tap mark to open material browser okay I will choose uh, from uh, Autodex library in metallic and choose uh, this uh, material uh, glass uh, fire brick you can select uh, this object uh, right click assign to selection okay I will uh, explode okay we explode first uh, this uh, array object you can tap explode select uh, this object and enter next you can select uh, object right click assign to selection okay you also can use a union command to combine these uh, three objects into one okay this object already combined into one and then I will change uh, this uh, material option okay I will just set it in here I will change into red color to this point okay and then you can uh, close close I will change into to do a frame and change into top view we can create a plan surf in here I will create a plan surf Okay, start from uh, this point into this point. We create a camera. Start from uh, this point into here. Okay, I will change into left view. And next, you can move uh, this object. Okay, I will move uh, to the top here. Okay, next, you can change into camera one view. Okay, this is for camera one view and next uh, I will uh, change into realistic okay now you can active uh, full shadow and use a high render in here I will active uh, environment and change uh, background for uh, this rendering with uh, solid option and change into white uh, color Okay, okay, and then you can close. Next, uh, we try to rendering uh, this uh, 3D model. Okay, I will uh, zoom in. We'll change in here into set of gray. Okay. And then so you can use uh, full shadow, active uh, environment. Okay, and we try to rendering uh, this object you can uh, click here to render okay okay we waiting for uh, rendering until finish into 10 level okay we finish the uh, rendering process and enough today for AutoCAD 3D modeling basic uh, tutorial how to create helix uh, ornament if you have any question about this uh, tutorial you can comment below this video and see you next time in another AutoCAD 3D modeling basic tutorial